Hey Felipe, uh, welcome back for the new season. Uh, I might just start a very positive squad update this afternoon, seeing the likes of Gary Ringrose and Andrew Porter back in full training this week as well. Are we likely to see them? I know it said they're available for selection. Are we likely to see them feature at some point this weekend? And also maybe Johnny Sexton as well, who was very good against Harlequins. Yeah, well, that's the idea. We, we always want to feel the strongest team we have. You know, it's, it's just about reintegrating them in, in, in training. And when, when guys come from injury, we don't want to, to, to accelerate them just for the sake of, of throwing them in onto the pitch. You know, it's just a, we need to make sure that they are fit and, and able to, to succeed. So that's how we want to prepare them. And if they are right, uh, you know, it, it's positive. They've trained really well today and, and hopefully they have a good training session tomorrow. And if, if, if they are OK, they, they'll definitely be up for selection. Uh, the Bulls first up this weekend, they're obviously coming into the competition now off the back of winning the Curry Cup. Um, yourselves, you've only had one friendly now, pre-season friendly this season. Is there any danger of a bit of rustiness in the, in the first couple of games? Like, will that one friendly game be enough match practice heading into the new season? Well, uh, you know, it's, it's not, we, I wouldn't call it danger. It's, it's more like it's the big challenge. You know, we are going to play against uh, not only that they won the last Curry Cup, they won the last two Curry Cups. So they are definitely the team in form in, in South Africa and, and definitely a very solid and, and good team. You know, they play really good rugby. They're really well coached, um, you know. So um, I think it's, it's a big challenge for us now. We always try to prepare the best way we can, and that's what we had and what we planned. And we knew beforehand we were going to have only one um, proper pre-season game, you know. Uh, so we, we try to manage it ourselves and trying to, to get a, a bit more of physicality in our training sessions uh, beforehand. But, but now we are in, in a, a normal rugby week game, so we are preparing as we normally do, as we usually do, you know. And are you happy with the the level of match fitness the players have at the moment? Well, when you, when you see you're going to play against a, a team that is in form and coming and coming from a from a very successful period like the Curry Cup, um, you would like maybe to have a few more games under your belt, but. That's what it is, and I think that we need to embrace the challenge. And and again, as I said, there's, it can't be better for us to play against the the reigning Curry Cup champions. And you know, it's they're the new addition in this competition, and and playing against the champions from the Southern Hemisphere in in terms of Curry Cup, it's it's great challenge for us. We'll take it as it is, you know. Okay, thanks, Felipe. Cheers. News, how are you? Um, Philippe, obviously, we know that um, Johnny Sexton is going into the final year of his current contract anyway. Um, what do you see the competition like between? Is there going to be kind of a changeover kind of going on here? I'm sure Johnny won't like that, but obviously, with Ross and Harry uh, coming through as well, what is it going to be like for that competition at 10 in particular? Yeah, I think it's a very healthy competition, and we are very, you know, lucky to have uh, the likes of Johnny and Ross and, and Harry. Um, and also Dave and, and, and Froles who can fit in there as well. Um, you know, at, at Johnny's age, it's, it's, it's one year and, and probably he's taking it step by step, year by year. And, but you, he's been incredible in this, this precision. He's been working really hard and, and he's been training really well. So, um, yeah, it's a, as I said, it's a healthy competition and, and I think we, Leinster, we are very lucky on having that sort of of um, quality on, on that 10 position, you know, so um, and, and every game will hopefully the three of them and, and, and Dave and, and Frost, hopefully all, all of the 10 will have enough time uh, to play and so on. But it can only make them better, you know, if they are competing and, and, and they have to be good week in, week out. And, and, and so I think it's it's great for us, you know. I'm sure Johnny is unlikely to want to give up any kind of starting role too easily to the rest of them. Well, Johnny is a natural competitor, and that's what make 
makes him the the player he is, you know, um, and and by ingraining those those traits in other in in our players, it makes the other ones compete competitors as well. So it's great to have him, and it's great to have him uh, fit, and you know, then it's it's about us to make sure that we we pick the right team, whoever is. It's, it's not about names. It's about who is uh, at the right moment fit mentally and physically to 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 just go and and get the challenge at the uh, at the challenge at the weekend and and you know so it's as as i said we are lucky we have those three in in line you know for leinster Just wondering the, the addition of the, the new South African teams, um, how much more competitive do you think will it make it uh, for the competition? And is it great, particularly for you guys, given your success in it, to have some uh, new blood to pit yourself against? Well, I, I think for for what um, I've seen from from the South African teams, they they bring to start with they bring another style of rugby into the competition, and that's great not only for players but also for coaches for us it's it's a great challenge you know i always say people underestimate the 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 quality of this competition sometimes because um when you play in the top 14 or or even premiership you see more or less the same traits throughout the the competition and the teams more or less do the same things here you're playing in the in in the in the united rugby competition you play against um teams from different countries and, and that they bring their own style by themselves. And the South African teams will add a different dimension to, to that in terms of scouting, in terms of how to approach a, a very physical, strong, powerful team as the Bulls. Um, with pace, uh, it will be also a challenge on when you have to travel down there in different, you know, going from the Northern Hemisphere to the Southern Hemisphere in, different, in completely opposite in terms of climate and so on. So it's it's a big, big challenge and they will add hopefully a lot into this competition. And just then on the, the new rules, um, Felipe, and just introducing those, what, what kind of difference or is it, have you had any difficulties, will you have any difficulties getting used to it? Yeah, we, we'll have to see how they evolve, but um, we didn't get too bogged in, into trying to change our style of rugby because of new rules, you know, um, um, actually, uh, we try to adapt and see how how they will work and and the whole new rules or these trial rules are are done for um, or, or the, the the whole thing is to try to find more space and and create more space and so on so that's that's what we need to start looking for you know and it might happen that there's no no more more space on the front line so it it could be on the backfield you know or other ways if they leave too many people on the backfield, scan for the space on the on the front line. So it won't change our our style of rugby. I don't think so. Um, definitely, we'll need to to see how they evolved and and adapt to them and and make sure we make the most out of them. You know, always trying to uh, adapt to the rules but make them work for our style of rugby. Thanks, Felipe. Thanks, Claire. Uh, Jan de Koning, if you are there with us, uh, open the floor to yourself. Two questions, please. Thank you very much. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yeah. Felipe, thank you very much for chatting to us. Um, you've touched briefly on it, on the South Africa. The Bulls uh, is indeed the form team in South Africa. But we also saw what happened when they went up to uh, play Benetton and Treviso, uh, how they struggled. And previously, we've seen with the Cheetahs and the Kings, South African teams struggle to travel they, 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 they don't travel very well do you learn anything from that did you learn anything from the bulls trip to treviso uh, earlier in the year and how much did you see of them in the in the curry cup yeah i, I wouldn't i i wouldn't make a a, hell, a whole lot of of that uh, trip and probably you know with jake white there as as the head coach and so on he'll probably would have learned from that uh, trip um i know that they had their difficulties by themselves, you know, in terms of sickness and some players and so on. Um, but 
uh, I would be expecting also a lot of the what what Jake White did, and and you could see it's, he he brought into the into the squad a lot of um, South African players that played in Europe before, so they will be more comfortable on on coming to this part of the world. So um, I wouldn't say they are they they would be that easy on the road as you know as as as, as you are. Uh, saying i think they will be a very tough team on the road as well you know um, and from the curry cup yeah I, I watch it um i'm from argentina i've always been very interested in the curry cup and and i know how how important is the curry cup for for the south african um rugby um, so so i think it's uh, yeah i've watched it quite a bit and 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 um, and I think they were outstanding. Definitely, they were the best team, and and now we have them in the first game. So it's it's great for us, you know, a, a big big challenge. And secondly, Philip, uh, the, the other South African team. You can touch briefly on it. I mean, you got the shot, the the Stormers and the Lions. Uh, how much do you know, and how much have you studied them? How much do they study them? Well, we, uh, as I said, I've been watching the Curry Cup. It's not that. Um, uh, we haven't gone into detail uh, to all of them because we don't play them in the in the coming uh, weeks. But uh, I can say they are. You can see them. They are uh, the, within the South African style. They are different sort of styles by themselves. You know, some more running by some of them, and some others very good defensive and and strategic teams. You know, and and I think it's. Um, yeah, we'll come. We'll come back. We are playing Lions in in uh, in January, and and then we we are traveling to South Africa for the for for the Sharks and uh, and Western Pro and West uh, and and Western Province for the in in May. I think it's April May. So we'll have time to see how they evolved in the competition as well. You know. Thank you. Jan. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jan. Uh, last question to Jerry Corridor, please. Okay, hi, hi, Philippe. Welcome back. Um, just wondering there, um, if you see, you mentioned there that uh, some of the guys, South African guys who played in Europe, and we, are you including those? Uh, obviously, Mark Del Cotia and um, Arnold Bota, who played with Monster and Cotia with Ulster. Um, do you have to adopt a different uh, type of game to play against South African teams, or does it depend on the style of play? That they come up with. If if I think they'll come with a different style of of play of, I I, I think I think they won't. I think um, uh, when you're successful with a style of rugby and you feel very comfortable on that style of rugby, um, I think why would you change that much? You know, I think they'll come and try to take us on what they are good at, and and they have a very good strong defensive. Uh, system and, and a strong defensive uh, team. They are a, a strong defensive team, and they are very powerful um, runners and and going moving forward. And and so I, I'd say they'll go and take that sort of game, you know. Plus the kicking game that we know South Africa uh, very good of uh, good good uh, kickers from nine from ten. Um, so now we are expecting more or less the same type of play now. Having said that, they, they will have the challenge of changing in two weeks uh, or adapting to those new rules that, that come in play because the Curry Cup wasn't played under those trial rules. So they also have those challenges probably, but um, I don't think they'll change much of their style.